now that we have discussed about circumference and arc lengths connected with circumference as a special case now comes the new concept called segment so let's see how geometrically a segment is defined for the given circle this session is about segment of a circle segment of a circle in order that we define segment of a circle let's take a circle of suitable radius and center now as we take the chord into the session we know that a chord is a line segment joining any two points of the circle so let me take the two line segment which join the chord to make the chord so ab is the chord for the circle now clearly i see that when i make the chord in the circle i always have two regions made by the circle so when i just draw the chord for the circle i have two regions made within the circle is how we get the different regions so there are two regions made by the chord ab so chord ab makes two regions within the circle so this is region 1 and this is region 2 so these regions are called segments the regions made by the chord within the circle are called segments so now we define a segment to be the segments are the regions made by the chord within the circle so segments are the regions made by the chord within the circle so here the upper part is one segment and low part is one segment so i have two segments for this one is this and the other is this so this is one segment which is defined for the circle and this is one more segment as defined out here with ab being the end points of the chord so region 1 and region 2 are the two segments for the given circle segment are the regions made by the chord in the cir circle and there are always two segments in the circle because a chord divides into two regions there exist always two regions which are the segments for the circle now that we have defined segment of a circle to be the region as made by the chord within the circle now clearly we have come across the conclusion that there are two regions formed by the chord of the circle so here let's see in today's session about possible number of segments made by the chord in the circle so possible number of segments for a circle so today's session is about 
the possible number of segments for a circle. So let's take a circle for understanding the number of segments. So here is a circle and let's take the chord. I have a chord AB out here. Then clearly I see that this chord is making two regions. Region 1 as denoted by dotted lines, dotted dots. And this is region 2 as given by slanting lines. So region 1 and region 2 are the two regions formed by this chord AB. So any chord of the same circle always makes two regions region 1 and region 2. Therefore I conclude that for any chord of the circle which makes two regions within the circle therefore there always exist two segments for the circle is how we define the segment connected with number of segments. Since every chord makes two regions within the circle <coughs> therefore every chord makes two segments therefore possible number of segments for a circle is equal to 2. The number is 2. Therefore, number of segments made by the chord with the circle is equal to number two is how I understand number of chords made by the chord, number of segments made by the chord with the circle is equal to number two. Two segments for the circle for any circle given in the branch of mathematics. If you like this video. Please give a thumbs up. Please subscribe to our channel to get more videos on CBSE syllabus.